One night, I walked in on her after she tried to take the doll apart to see how the poop mechanism worked. But then she couldn't put it back together and started crying. Poop everywhere. As far as the eye can see. On the walls, on me, and I just walked in the room. Poop was just everywhere. My life sucks and I'm Brian. So I know what you might be thinking. Robert puts his old workhorse up for grabs, his only mode of transportation, at times in his life his only home. How could he be so sure of his abilities in gambling? I'll tell you right now, Craig. I wasn't always like this. Whoa. Uh -huh. What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy and welcome back to Dream Daddy. We have finished our first round of dates, but before I go through and eliminate four, yes, four daddies, Matt invited us over for a poker night and I'm not exactly sure he's gonna be there. So let's go lose some money. Oh, the game already knows I'm gonna lose. Okay, let's go lose some of that money. Trust no one, ever. Don't do it. They don't deserve it. Trust no one. If the police are driving behind you, don't give them a probable cause to pull you over. Matt invited me over to a poker night at Joseph's house. I put on my going out cloak and walk over. Across the way I spot Matt, who's walking over from his own house. He's got a case of beer under his arm. Crap, I should have brought something. Hey. Hey man. Crap, I should have brought something. Haha, <laughs> no worries man. It's your first time. Just bring a full wallet. I'm gonna lose all of it. How long have you guys been at this for? Years, buddy. Just a nice way to keep in touch with the guys. It's never really high stakes. Had to invite him, huh? Could have invited any of the other dads. Hugo? Damien? Hell, even Robert. But him? Alright. We pass through the fence and closing Joseph's backyard. Craig, Brian, and Joseph hover around the patio, drinking beer and chatting. Robert sits in the corner, brooding as usual. Well, at least Robert is here. <laughs> I guess. Pierre, glad you could make it. <laughs> so am I. I'm psyched to take all your money. I'm sure you are. Just like old times. Craig's the resident shark. We prefer the term, person who's good at poker. <laughs> I'm well aware. Craig's always been surprisingly good at poker. Mm -hmm. Are you still as terrible as you were in college? Uh, yeah, poker face. We're, we're here to lie to people. Hey, I wasn't terrible. I'm not bad at poker. I'm definitely good at poker. Mm -hmm. Everyone stares at me. Okay, maybe that was a little defensive. <laughs> okay, I'm bad at poker. Oh, nice. Hey. There's no way you're as bad as Joseph. Joseph shrugs. Hey. This is basically my tithing. I'm giving back to the community. Wink. Plus, I'm happy to just sit here and eat all of Brian's snacks. You brought snacks, did ya? Anything good? Yeah. Guess who brought pigs in a blanket? Okay, those aren't bad. Oh. Not Craig. Oh. Hey, my chia seed and granola energy balls are just as delicious. <laughs> I, I don't doubt that. Everybody laughs. Let's just get the game going. Bye. We all take a seat at the table and Matt starts dealing cards. The first couple rounds go by easily and I'm getting the hang of things, but it's obvious that Craig is running the show here. Craig, how did you get so good at this? It's pretty easy. You just start getting the feel for everyone's tell. Like Matt will scratch his ear. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey! Brian adjusts his pants when he's trying to lie. Oh, now wait a second. Oh. And I think you just loudly announce to the whole room when you have a good hand. <laughs> yeah, yep. That's me. Mm -hmm. What's Joseph style? <laughs> everything. Literally everything. That man is an open book. He couldn't lie if he tried. Well, at least I have God on my side. Oh. See? You can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> what about Robert? Oh. Oh. Oh, does... Honestly? The man's an enigma. I can read Robert. Robert raises his glass of whiskey to us in a solemn salute. Nice. I think he'd wipe the floor with us if he actually tried. Mm. Fair enough. I'm just here because I enjoy the company. Uh. Robert pulls out his phone and stares at it. Uh. Robert, is that a flip phone? Uh. Yeah. Nice. What? Are you a drug dealer now? I... Yeah, what do you need? Horse? Speed? Taiwan Johnny's? They do. I can get you the street stuff easy, but if you're looking for something exotic, or designer, 
That's maybe 72 hours in a favor call. Maybe I won't need you today. Maybe I won't need you tomorrow. But someday. Oh, I don't really... I think I'm good. <laughs> right. Oh. But still, if you got the coin, I got the goods. <laughs> I dropped my phone in the toilet and this is my backup until I can get it replaced under warranty. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Everyone murmurs their sympathies. We've all been there. We go back to playing. I really gotta stop eating these pigs in the blankets. Pigs and blankets? I don't know, but they're very good. I think there might be cheese in them. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it does sound pretty good. Oof, I don't know if I got enough to raise you on this round. You can always bet your firstborn. Who is his firstborn? Er, is his firstborn twins? Bro! If you think you can handle another one, be my guest. Brer and Hazel are a handful, to say the least, so they are twins. Buddy, you think three kids is a handful? Try four. I'm operating at 100% dad capacity at all times. Uh -huh. Actually, it's technically five. Is he adding Mary to the mix? Christine saw a commercial for one of those dolls that poop and wouldn't stop asking for it. We ended up getting it for her for her birthday, but she's so grossed out by the fake baby poop that she makes me change the diapers. So now I'm changing a real baby and a fake baby. Hey. I'm so sorry, Joseph. That sounds terrible. There's just a lot of poop in the household right now. Daisy got one of those a while back. Okay. One night, I walked in on her after she tried to take the doll apart to see how the poop mechanism worked. But then she couldn't put it back together and started crying. Poop? Everywhere. As far as the eye can see. On the walls, on me, and I just walked in the room. Poop was just everywhere. My life sucks and I'm Brian. Yeah. Fake poop, but still. That reminds me of... Wait, do we all have poop doll stories? Mm -hmm. Everyone nods in agreement. Hmm. Guys, I really don't need any more poop in my life than there is already. Can we just get back to poker and not talk about poop? Mm -hmm. Matt deals another hand and we quickly forget about the poop. We run out of pigs in the blankets, so we switch over to Craig's healthy snack food. It actually isn't terrible. See, I knew it wouldn't be. These kale chips are phenomenal. We should sell these at the coffee shop. Oh. It's my own recipe. I'd be happy to give it to you guys. Oh. I can see it now. Pierce the kale. <laughs> chips. Hmm. Hey. Pierce the Veil is a popular post-hardcore screamo band out of San Diego. We all look at Matt confused. <laughs> it's, uh, it's maybe not any of your wheelhouses. Uh. How's the shop nowadays? Oh. Busy as ever. I'm toying with the idea of hiring on another person to work the counter, but I haven't found a good candidate. Hmm. Oh. If a man is looking for a summer gig, let me know. That's really nice of you, but I think she's been burned badly by coffee shops before. Literally, not figuratively. Hey. Makes sense. Coffee's hot. I burn myself every single day. Matt cocks his head to the side. I'll ask her, though. We get down to the final hand of the night, and it's Craig in the lead by a landslide. Joseph has long since lost all of his chips and has taken to tidying up, refusing any help from the rest of us. Brian deals us all cards. So what's it gonna take for Robert to give a damn on this round? Robert looks up from his half-empty glass of whiskey. Do you really want to unleash the beast? Huh? Well, now I'm curious. I got a long history of being a gambling man, but I'll only do it if it makes it interesting. None of this penny chip nonsense. I got a Lily's 18 single blend sitting in my closet right now, but saving it up for when River turns 21, but I'm willing to put it up as collateral. Hey. Now you're talking my language. He throws the keys to his truck on the table. Ooh, well this is high stakes. She's seen better days, but she can still pull the tree trunk out of the ground. Nope. Hey. Myself and everyone else on the table immediately folds. <laughs> I wanted to stay in this hand. Maybe I could have won some really nice whiskey and a truck. Deal the cards, bra guy. Are you guys sure you wanna? Mm. You heard the man. Deal. <sighs> Brian deals the next round of cards. Craig stares daggers at Robert, who casually sips his whiskey. I think Robert's gonna take this. So I know what you might be thinking. Robert puts his old workhorse up for grabs, his only mode of transportation, at times in his life his only home. How could he be so sure of his abilities in gambling? I'll tell you right now, Craig. Uh -huh. I wasn't always like this. Whoa. Uh -huh. 
I was a lot like you. Smart, talented, cocksure of my own luck. Great biceps. But it didn't last long, though. The whole mood changed. I lost everything in a game of Pai Gao in a back room of a Shenzhen tea house on what I thought was a three-day business trip. Everything gone. Clothes, money, identification, you name it. <sighs> I woke up in a ditch near Zaisho Park and had to make my life new from there. It took me three years to beg, borrow, and steal my way back to American soil. And in those three years, I saw the greatest depths of human fear, love deeper than I ever had, and lost it all many more times over. Huh. I've seen my own death, Greg. I know how I die. It's not like this. Oh. So let's make this more interesting, okay? Hmm. What you got in mind? Robert produces the deed to his house from his jacket and tosses it on the table. Oh. All I have and all I am. Are you prepared to go the distance? I don't know. Craig wipes the sweat from his brow. He studies Robert's face intently, searching for any sort of tell that he can find. Robert casually sips his whiskey again. I... I fold. Hey. Everyone erupts. Nice. Fine, fine. The whiskey's yours. And that's why you don't dance with the devil. Oh. So what was it? Were you bluffing or did you have the cards? That's for me to take to my grave, fellas. Oh. Next week, boys? Oh. Next week. Hey. You got it. Hey. I'll be there. Mm-hmm. Sure thing. I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, I'll come back. This has been very relaxing, and I sincerely doubt that I'll wake up in a cold sweat thinking about it tonight. Hey. Keep working on that poker face, Pierre. We all say our goodbyes and head our separate ways. If you're parking uphill, be sure to turn off, turn, turn the tires in a direction. All right, guys, that's where I'm getting on this one. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps out the channel. What do you guys think? Did Robert actually have a good hand or was he bluffing? Anyways, next time we get down to business as we will eliminate four dads for second dates and start our second round of dates. But until then, I love you guys. Take care. Peace.